Again, human beings from the planet Earth. I wanted to bring to you this uh, post in Pack Alert Press, Harp Technology 2.0, Wrecking Our Environment. Uh, it seems, uh, as you'll see when we go down through this post, that there may be miniaturized versions of this. Are there miniaturized versions of the world's largest ionos ionospheric heater, or Harp, all around us modifying the weather? Weather Have electromagnetic frequency generators been installed over major fault lines waiting to trigger massive earthquakes? Has our military developed a super weapon that can vaporize entire cities with lightning from the ionosphere? There is evidence that that technology exists and is being deployed. Scroll down here. There's a picture of the uh, HARP facility in Gakona, Alaska. Way back in 1995, when the seminal book by Dr. Nick Bijik and Gene Manning, Angels Don't Play This Harp, was released, the putative inventor of harp, Dr. Bernard Eastland, speculated that it is entirely possible that sex, such technology had already been miniaturized. Aviation Week reported in 2008 that an airborne version of harp has been developed which can be towed behind a helicopter. Now, that's something new to me. I didn't know that. Uh, we also probably most of you know about the sea-based X-band radar floating platform util that utilizes HARP technology. Uh, there's a link there to the Wikipedia if you don't understand that. I'll link you to this article below in the description. Little HARPs modifying the local weather. Scientists at the University of California, Los Angeles in the High Power Auroral Stimulation Observatory in Alaska have assembled a new generation of ionospheric heaters. This technology, known as Hertzian antennas, can be matched or exceed the peak power of the new HARP system for a fraction of the cost, though most implementations are not capable of producing all the complex phase signals produced by facilities like HARP at Kukona, Alaska, or the antenna array at Jicamarca, Peru. An effective Hertzian antenna could fit in this good-sized backyard. Have these new Hertzian antennas been placed strategically around the country and the world in a coordinated effort to modify the weather? Ionospheric heaters such as these can be networked and synchronized to increase functionality and effectiveness. Today's chemtrail ionospheric heater weather modification operations may also may involve a network of smaller Hertzian. Uh, Hertzian, rather, antennas tucked away in the back lots of our nation's scientific establishments and or placed, as discussed in the next session, at common weather shear locations. All these antennas could be controlled from a central location such as Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. These proposed scenario jibes with the scientists at the HARP facility who say their ionospheric heater antenna array goes largely unused. If a network of smaller antennas across the country is handling the day-to-day -day dirty work, then the HARP array may be used occasionally for big jobs such as the Japan earthquake or Hurricane Sandy. And we've seen um, the weather manipulation guide uh, Isaac into shore. We know that was caught on uh, the, uh, uh, I don't know, weather channel or one of them on the radar. We, we saw it. Um, no other explanation other than that storm was guided. Uh, was Sandy? Probably so. Uh, EMF generators over earthquake fault lines. Uh, this image here was captured from Google Earth and uh, at first glance it appears to be a circle formed by a center pivot irrigation system. Such circles appear all over the country as this method of irrigation is very prevalent but as you can see on the edges of the circle are irregular and they appear to be diamond shaped structures under the soil. What accounts for these irregularities? And you can see, uh, they, you know, it, it does look, uh, according to that photo, like something is under the ground. And I know that um, Dutch Sense, in his work, he's often picking up these radar rings. Maybe uh, he is onto something. May maybe these, uh, these radar rings are being. Uh, is a result of these underground harp, mini harps. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'll let you read the whole post if you want, but I thought that was pretty interesting, and I want to bring to your attention a petition that's been started to stop 
the geoengineering. Um, this is a young man that put this out uh, on YouTube a couple of days ago, and uh, he had some great information. He needs some backing on this. This is something that we need to address. We don't know what the harm of all this shit they're spraying in the air, and we don't know the harm uh, when you're messing with the uh, radio frequencies and the ionosphere, what other kind of hell it's going to raise. So please, the link to the petition will be below. The link to the uh, Pack Alert Press will be below. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you as soon as I find something else you need to know about.